Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the native ARM version of OBS on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you're on the OBS project website and you download the macOS version that's listed here, then this is going to give you the Intel build of the software. So if we have a look at this now, double click and then control click on OBS and get info. This is the Intel version. And you might find that this is not going to run as well as a native ARM version. And today I'm going to show you how to download that. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So according to this thread on the obsproject.com website, an ARM version is actually in the works and you can actually download that now before the official release of OBS Studio 28, which is going to have the native ARM version, which is being worked on on a nightly basis. So in order to do this, we're going to go to the GitHub page. I'm going to leave a link to this GitHub page in the description so you can find it yourself. And basically, if you look at this OBS Studio at the build menu here, you can see that every time that code is merged into the main project, then you'll be able to find the latest versions of the M1 Mac ARM build as well. So for example, I have a build here which was created yesterday. So this is the latest one at the time of recording. However, when you look at this in the future, then this is going to look a bit different. So what I'm going to do is to click on one of these builds. So it doesn't really matter which one it is. Obviously, each one's going to have different code lists inside them. So they might have some residual bugs. And this is going to be a nice version so it's not going to be as stable as whatever the stable release is going to be in the future however we can download what's called an artifact build so I'm going to click on this very latest build here so all you need to do is to scroll down and then click on one of these artifacts and the one that we're interested in is this one called OBS macOS ARM64 and this is the one that's been built specifically for the M1 chip so this is going to work better and it's going to be more power efficient and it's going to have much better performance too however because this is a nightly build it's also going to be a little bit buggy now if you don't have this link then what you need to do is to scroll up and then you need to log into your account. So on the top right hand side here, you can go ahead and create your own free GitHub account. And then once you're logged in, then all of these artifact links are going to be clickable. So I'm going to click on this OBS macOS ARM64 build here. And then this has gone into my downloads folder. So to find that, I'm just going to go to Finder, I'm going to Downloads here, and then just wait for this to complete. And then once that's done, I'll double click. And it's saying here that it can't open because it's from an unidentified developer. What we're going to do is to hold down the control key. I'm going to click on this DMG file, click open, and then we're going to click open again to manually open this. So now the OBS DMG has opened. I'm going to control click on here and get, get info. And you can see here that this is the Apple Silicon version of OBS. So this is the correct one. To install it, I can just drag and drop it into my applications folder, but I'm just going to double click and open it here just to show you that's working. Once again, if you can't open it because it can't be checked, then press OK, hold down control again, and then click on it and then click open again, and then click open here to manually open and bypass gatekeeper. Here I'm going to give OBS permission to access the microphone, camera, and now you can see here that OBS is working and it's picking up my microphone here. If I look at OBS Studio, this is working under Apple Kind, which means that it's working as an M1 Mac application. OBS are going to release a native ARM M1 version in the future under OBS Studio 28, so look out for that in the future. So for now, this is how you get native OBS working on the M1 Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.